Hello, in this video I'm going to discuss how to plot or graph a piecewise function uh, using a TI-84 graphing calculator, uh, which is what you see here. Okay. Um, so the function we'll be working with is defined right here. We have f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 4 uh, when x is less than or equal to 2, and 5 plus 4x whenever x is strictly greater than 2. Okay. So, um, all right, so if you turn on your calculator, then most likely you'll see the screen. And so what you want to do is you want to go up here, click on y equals to, and then we're going to start putting in the information from what we're given. So we have 3x squared plus 4. So what you want to do is you want to surround this. Um, you want to surround this part and this part with parentheses. Okay, so, all right, so here's the... First function, we have 3x squared. Plus 4. Okay, and then we have the restricted domain of x less than or equal to 2. Okay, so we're going to put another set of parentheses around that part. Okay, so you're going to go up to your x. And then to access this less than or equal to sign, um, you're going to click on second and then test. Okay, and then scroll down to see less than or equal to. So let's see, that's option six. And then close the parentheses. Okay, so we're going to skip to the second line and put in the other function. So we're going to have 5 plus 4x. And that is going to be for x strictly greater than 2. So again, to access this inequality symbol, go to second test. OK, and there it is. Hit enter, and then 2. All right. So now, now that we've entered the information, just click on graph. Okay. Uh, so notice that you don't see the other part uh, because we need to adjust the the window scale. Since if I let x be equal to 2, this is going to give us 3 times 4, right? That's going to give us 12 plus 4. That will give us uh, 16. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the window setting, and I'm going to I'm going to set y minimum to be zero because we don't it's not going below the the x axis. So I'm going to put this at zero, and y maximum I'm going to put it as 20. So make so that should give us a pretty good view of the graph. All right, so there it is. So when x is less than or equal to 2, we get, right, we have a part of a, we have basically a piece of the parabola. And then when x is strictly greater than 2, it becomes a linear uh, function. In other words, we have a line right here. Okay, so that's what the um, graph looks like. Now, if you notice, it does, uh, because we're kind of zoomed out here, um, it does put, like, it indicates that there is a, um, a jump here. So to get a better idea of what's going on here, you can go and zoom into that part. So you just click on zoom. And then we can use option one. So this will allow us to put a to um, basically box the region that we're uh, that we want to focus in on. So you can move this cursor. Okay, so I want to zoom into this region. So what we can do is uh, place the our cursor there, say enter, and then and we can go ahead and draw a box around around that part. Okay, and then hit enter, and then it will actually zoom in to that uh, to this region. Okay, so there it is. So you can see that um, here's 
part of the parabola, right? This is when x is less than or equal to 2. And then when x is strictly greater than 2, it jumps down here. Now, the thing you have to be careful with is that um, on this, on your calculator, it won't show the open or closed points, okay? So just keep in mind that when x is equal to 2, okay, when we plug in 2, you're going to get 3 times 4. That gives us 12 plus 4 is 16. So that should be a, uh, there should be a hole here at y equals 16. And then when x is strictly less than 2, uh, we're going to have an open, it'll be an open circle here. And that's going to correspond to the value of, so you have 5 plus 4 times 2. So that's going to be a value of 13. Okay. Okay. So again, this up here will be closed, filled in. That's for y value of 16. Down here will be open at the y value of 13. Okay. Uh, but that gives you an idea of what this function looks like. In this case, uh, we're working with a piecewise defined function. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop this. And uh, and by the way, if you want to um, if you want to get out of this, just hit second quit, and that'll take you back to the main screen. Okay.